Hello there, all you gorgeous people. You've got Sammy, and today we are going to be completing the sloth granny square as part of our 365 granny square a day crochet along project. Um, now, this uh, the sloth will be attached to the square. So the square I've already done, and it is just a solid granny square. So if you're not familiar with that pattern, um, please go to the third day of this cowl project um, we did the solid granny square and you can follow along with the video to complete that part and i am going to use this video to walk you through making the sloth so we'll put that aside and get on with our sloth so i have um, made a start here just by doing a chain of nine Now I'm going to pop two single crochet into the second chain from the hook. Single crochet into the next six. Okay, single crochet into those six stitches and then we're going to pop three single crochet into the last chain. This section is worked in rounds uh, and we don't really finish off rounds so we don't slip stitch together. We just keep working around. So three single crochet into the last chain. Now we're going to single crochet into the opposite side of the chain for the next six stitches. So we're working opposite the six single crochet that we've just done. And then we're going to pop a single crochet into the same chain as the double, the two that we popped in at the start. So that completes our first round. Not doing a slip stitch. You can pop a stitch marker in. Because I've carried my yarn, I can see where my first and last stitch are. Um, but we'll move on to round two. So the next stitch have two single crochet in it. One, two, a single crochet into the next six. And pop two single crochet into the next three single crochet. So one, So six stitches worked over three, two in each. Now back to single crochet down the side for the next six. Four. 
and we are going to finish off this round by popping two single crochet into the last two spaces at the end. I'll let you guys finish those off and I will meet you back here ready for round three. Remembering we do not slip stitch to join these rounds, they're just continually worked. Meet you back here in a moment. Okay, back and ready for round three. So I haven't slip stitch. My yarn's telling me where I've finished or your stitch marker. Now I'm going to pop two single crochet into the next three stitches. So one, two into the first, two into the second, and two into the third. Okay, now we're going to work a single crochet into the next eight stitches. Now we've got two single crochet into the next four stitches. So eight stitches. One, two in the first, three, four in the second, five, six in the third. And seven and eight in the fourth. Now I'm going to single crochet into the next eight stitches, and I have one lot of two single crochet at the end. I'll let you guys finish off that the rest of that round. Remember, we're not slip stitching, we're just continually working out. Uh, I'll meet you back here for row four. Okay, we're coming along now. We haven't slip stitched. We're going to pop two single crochet into each of the next four stitches. Seven and eight. Then we're going to single crochet into the next 12 stitches. And we're going to repeat that pattern again to get us back to the beginning. Now we're not going to join with the slip stitch. We're just going to be ready to move on to round five. For our next moment. round, nice and simple with this round, we are just simply putting a single crochet into each and every stitch. So we will have 48 single crochet. I'll let you guys work them. I'll meet you back here for round seven, which will be our final color. We're not finishing off this color though. We're gonna join in our other color to do round eight. Um, and then we can start working in our, the rest of our sloth. I'll see you soon. Okay guys, we're back nearly finished here um, so doing round seven which will be our final round in this color we're going to do seven single crochet uh, six sorry one two three so we're just working one in each stitch three four Five and six. Then we're going to work two single crochet into each of the next four. One, two, three, four. Five, six, 
seven, eight, and single crochet into the next 20, and then do two single crochet into the next four. One, Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So the next four stitches will get two in each. So one, two, three, four. Six, seven, and eight. So there are 14 single crochet left in this round. I'm going to let you work them. Leave your yarn attached. I'll meet you back here for round eight and I'll show you how to change colors nice and easily. See you in a I'm moment. back. I'm on my final stitch. Um, which I haven't completed because we're changing yarn. So I've got in, pulled up a loop. I'm going to use my new color yarn to put a loop on my hook and pull it through to finish the stitch. And now I've made a ridiculously long tail. Um, now I've changed color. I can continue on with round eight and it will tighten itself. You just got to adjust after the first couple of stitches. So let's make our first one here with our new color. Just pulling those tails. Okay, first one done. So I can pull both the tails, cut them off, and tie them. Uh, now round seven, uh, round eight rather, which is our final round on this section is just a round of single crochet with our new color to get rid ready to finish off this sloth. I'll let you guys work that round of single crochet. I will meet you back here. I'll be using the gray, which is my sort of body color, um, to make the next part, which will be two eye patches. I'll see you soon. Okay finished the face and that's ready to be attached uh, to our solid granny square. Now we just need to make a couple of eye patches. Um, so with my second colour, my grey, I'm going to chain seven. Now second chain from the hook, I'm going to pop three single crochet, so one, two, three. I'm going to single crochet into the next four stitches, one, Two, three, four. 
Now the last chain I'm going to pop five single crochet. Now, working back the other side like we did for the head, I'm going to work a single crochet down the other side into the next four chains. One, two, three, four. Now, in our first chain, We've already got three in there. We're going to put another two single crochet. Not joining once again. We only join when we're finishing. So that's round one of our first eye patch. Remembering we've got to make two of these. Now I'm going to put two single crochet into the first two single crochet. So four stitches. One. Single crochet into the next six. One, two. Hmm. Out there. Two. Uncooperative wall. Three. Four. Oh, five, sorry. I'm going to put two single crochet in the chain where we did. No. My goodness, it is six. Six. Two single crochet in each of the first two single crochet. six single crochet down the side and then two single crochet into each of the next three so one two three four five six six single crochet back down the other side Six. And then for our last stitch, we're going to pop in two single crochet. Now we can finish off and join. Remembering these are the eye patches, so you will need to complete two of them. But that is the first one done. Go back about five minutes to follow along with the video. I hope you have enjoyed hooking up our cutie patootie little sloth square. Have a fantastic day and until next time, happy hooking. Bye-bye.